You have to cook one dish for Gordon Ramsay. If he doesn't like it, you will die. What dish do you cook for him? Puffer fish hole. I'm not going out by myself. Guess I'll die. I'll microwave some salad. The will to live is strong I see. Tuna salad with some cheese on it. Finally, some good ducking food. A glass of water. It's ducking dry. It's not even fit for a dog's dinner. It takes about 60 years to make, just be patient, gee. Yeah, I make a mean sea turtle soup, all from scratch. I raise the turtle, let it live its natural life, then after it does, kind of toss it in some hot water. To bake a sea turtle soup from scratch, one must first create the universe. Renexpected Carl Sagan An idiot sandwich See, there's nothing in the sentence saying you'll be spared if he likes it, so really he just eats you in an idiot sandwich and enjoys it. Gordon Ramsay eating me would be a dream. Things I never thought I'd hear for 2000, Alex. Lamb sauce smothered with lamb sauce with a side of lamb sauce. You die cause, you dumbass, you forgot the lamb. But, it, it was in the sauce. Hello Reddit brother edit, I didn't expect this to get this many upvotes but thanks it's the most upvotes I've ever gotten. TBH, Gordon Ramsay Earl is nowhere near as picky as he is in his show. He really likes it and out. His career is to be insanely picky, but he obviously just likes good food. On MasterChef and his cooking show he makes references to less elegant food that he likes or liked growing up. He has a soft spot for comfort food for sure. Then let's make some comfort food for him. I posted elsewhere about the scallops he did before, but duck it yeah, he would probably way more appreciate good authentic comfort food. I am in Texas so just about anything we make is hard to pass on. Biscuits and gravy Gordon? This girl I used to date once took me to her small hometown breakfast spot, in Ga, and they had a dish called feathered biscuits or it was a heaping mound of sausage gravy biscuits, perfectly cooked eggs, and fried chicken. Years later I still think about that amazing dish. The South knows how to breakfast. Peanut butter sandwich. Two pieces of bread, butter, handful of peanuts still in the shell. The first time I read this I thought it was some kind of plot to kill him through a peanut allergy I didn't know he had. Crispy air. Link recipe PLS. Get air let chill for 0 to 100 minutes at a garnish of water vapor. It's raw. It's ducking raw. I'd probably serve my finest milk steak with a delicious side of jelly beans. Was thinking a good old rum ham, but milk steak is a good option. Why not both? You're guaranteed to impress then. Maybe even throw in some fight milk as a recommended beverage to complement the meal. One of his children. I'm taking something from him before I go. Or maybe he will like it and will be BFFs. Go big or go home. Unlike the child. Oh, don't worry, they'll go home within their dad. First, I sit Mr. Ramsey down at the table. I have a movie on television. It's the 2011 classic Love's Kitchen, which features Mr. Ramsey. While he's watching his Oscar-worthy performance which totally feels like all the actors were in the same room at the same time and not him in his trailer with a green curtain behind him, I serve drinks. Hashtag X200B, while he's enamored with the movie and enjoying a much better than the price tag would suggest glass of wine, I have my Uber Eats order en route from his restaurant. I serve it on my beautiful plates. Here I win either way. Hashtag X200B, if he loves it, I keep my life. If he doesn't, I reveal my ruse, this was actually his own dish. He must now die. Well, he has to like his own dishes right? So I'll make his cinnamon eggy bread. Mainly just because I like the way he says eggy bread. My first thought was cooking one of his dishes for him, but the downside is he's going to be able to tell much more easily if something's off. He once complained about one of his oyster dishes which were served to him on a Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, UK, 
by some dude who was trying to run his Michelin starred restaurant after losing his head chef or something. He was, predictably, not impressed. Maruchan Ramen. I can nail that. This sounds like an answer my girlfriend would give. Do I love you? Possibly. Now kiss. Now give him a shiny rock that proves I love you. I make a peanut butter sandwich served alongside a heartfelt apologetic description of how I've never cooked for anyone else and haven't really deemed myself important enough to make the effort for. He seems like a nice guy. He'll probably give me a pity like and then teach me how to make proper food. He seems like a nice guy, you say while everyone else is referencing famous insults he said Lamau I know very little about Gordon Ramsay but from what I've heard he's much nicer to kids and people who are still learning than to people who pretend like they know everything and are way more arrogant than they should be considering their actual cooking skills. I'd also bank on that hope and be upfront about the fact that I'm still in the beginning stages of learning and then to make one of the few dishes I can reliably and easily make. While I can follow a recipe and achieve edible results, it might be extremely ugly to look at. Also I lack the patience and planning abilities for anything that requires advanced prep. It should be noted he's really just more friendly to people when he's not edited for American television. The dude still has a little bite to him, but I feel like it's less oh, wow, this guy's a dick and more like, oh, this guy actually cooks for a living and doesn't just teach cooking on TV. Yeah has no more of a dick than most head chefs. It's a high intensity job, and your reputation is constantly rising on people's ability and willingness to follow your instruction. Anyone doing that would have to start out a little demanding, and would probably end up on the mean side of you just saw them working. Ramsey is a good guy. Hess philanthropic, has raised awareness of miscarriage and stillbirth prevalence and worked on initiatives to remove stigma from it, and is really kind to children. He just has less than zero patience for people ducking about. This. Gordon is actually really nice, but he has no patience for people with big egos who are either ripping people off, lying or endangering people. A lot of the clips are taken out of the context and that context is usually severe health code violations or just plain dishonesty. He's actually very generous, and super sweet to kids and people who just really want to learn. I remember the video where a prison inmate working in the kitchen chopped an onion entirely before Ramsey was even halfway done, and he offered him a job for as soon as he got released. A grenade. Oh boy do I have a cookbook for you. No don't. FBI open up. Can't you read? No soliciting. Oh sorry man phone rings hello. Yeah hi this is the FBI please step outside. Ooh we have guests. Something very simple and hard to duck up, but guaranteed satisfying. So basically anything that's made of mostly cheese. For example quesadillas, grilled cheese sandwich, mac cheese. It's a goddamn grilled cheese. The recipe is in the ducking name. How the fuck do you mess it up? Shit, I forgot the bread. I forgot to grill the cheese this is raw. Now I'm going to go out and find that company that sells that chocolate cake on the one kitchen nightmares or hotel hell or whatever that the chef cut in half and Gordon was like no, I want the whole damn thing and then stated that it was actually good, only to be told it was ordered in from a company. Yeah, I'm buying that. Screw cooking, I want to live. And I know he likes it. My lasagna. Every bit made from scratch, including the cheese. First comment from someone who's willing to give it a shot. Older guy here, but I'm starting to pick up on the culture hive mind of Reddit and its relationship with pop culture, so without looking, Scout's Honor, is one of the first top answers steamed hams. Yes, despite the fact that they are obviously grilled. It's an Albany expression. Well I'm from Utica and I've never heard that expression. <laughs> 